Saudi Arabia is constructing a massive solar power facility in the Al Shuwaiba region that will power over 350,000 houses in the Middle East. The Saudi utility companies ACWA Power and the Water and Electricity Holding Company are developing the project. Furthermore, power purchase agreement have been signed. It will have a capacity of 2,060 megawatts and it's slated to begin operation in the fourth quarter of 2025. The Water and Electricity Holding Company and ACWA Power will jointly own the project. The construction will be overseen by a new business called Shuwaiba 2 Electrical Energy Corporation. And today, we'll discuss what we know about this new Saudi project that will change everything. First, we look at the reasons for Saudi Arabia's transition to solar energy. Of course, the first thing that springs up to mind when we think of Saudi Arabia is its vast oil reserves. But as the world changes, the future of oil becomes less secure. Electric vehicles are becoming more popular and there is a shift toward more environmentally friendly choices in shipping and aviation. As a result, Saudi Arabia must adjust to this changing energy scenario. Electric car sales grew by 168% in the first half of 2021 compared to the same period in 2020. Notwithstanding the problems posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, the world is still progressing towards a cleaner and more sustainable future. Furthermore, major oil firms and the International Energy Agency forecast that world oil demand will peak after 2030. This means that, in the long run, Saudi Arabia cannot rely on oil as the cornerstone of its economy. Instead, the kingdom must shift its focus to renewable energy sources. As a result, the country has set lofty goals for producing renewable energy. This includes the goal of making 50% of its electricity from renewable sources by 2030. Many countries begin their energy transition at different points. Countries like Germany, China, and the United States rely on coal-fired electricity because of their huge coal resources. On the other hand, Saudi Arabia has significant oil resources and has used oil as a power source. Yet, the country has gradually replaced oil and electrical generation with natural gas. Over the last decade, gas-fired output has more than doubled to 200 terawatts hours in 2020. Meanwhile, from a peak of 183.7 terawatt hours in 2015 to 132.8 terawatt hours in 2020, oil-fired generation has decreased by 28%. As a result, since 2016, the country's key driver in reducing carbon dioxide emission has been the shift from oil to gas. According to BP Statistics, carbon dioxide emission from fossil fuel combustion in Saudi Arabia decreased by 5.7% between 2016 and 2020. Furthermore, this reduction is impressive given the country's fast-expanding domestic energy demand. On the other hand, renewable energy technologies such as wind, solar PV, and concentrated solar power now offer sustainable energy generation in addition to natural gas. Increasing renewable energy sources will assist Saudi Arabia in further reducing CO2 emissions and creating more sustainable future. The Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia has established a new renewable energy program. This includes the development of the Middle East and North Africa's largest solar power plant. ACWA Power and the Water and Electricity Holding Company have inked a 35-year power purchase deal with a PIF-backed consortium for the 2.06 gigaton solar power facility. With a total expenditure of $1.75 billion, the facility is anticipated to begin operations in 2025. Under their joint venture, the Shuwaiba 2 Electrical Energy Company, ACWA Power, and Badil will hold 50% of the project. A group of investors struck a contract with SPPC in April 2021 to develop a huge solar power facility in Saudi Arabia for roughly $905 million. This facility contributes to the country's target of developing 70% of its renewable energy capacity by 2030. The project, planned to be completed by the end of 2022, is a massive step toward a more sustainable future. The vice governor of PIF stressed that renewable energy is the country's primary priority. He also stated that it is part of the company's larger efforts to diversify revenue sources. And this plant is tangible illustration of Saudi Arabia's energy shift. Muhammad Abu Nayan, chairman of the ACWA Power, expresses delight in collaborating with the Badil and SPPC to establish a new renewable energy project in Saudi Arabia. This project intends to diversify the country's energy mix while setting a new sustainable energy norm. This is critical for local communities to achieve positive economic, environmental, and social outcomes. ACWA Power is committed to fostering local technology, expertise, and supply chains to maximize the project's potential. 
ACWA powers a six solar energy project in Saudi Arabia. The plant will power 350,000 residences. The company's portfolio now includes 13 power, water desalination, and green hydrogen projects. Now, thank you for reaching this point. Make sure to finish this video to know more. But before we continue, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel and like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos like this. Also, Saudi Arabia plans to build the world's largest wind farm in Uzbekistan. According to media sources, Uzbekistan's president recently visited Saudi Arabia and returned with $14 billion in pledge investment. Most of the $12 billion will be used to address energy shortages. One of the agreements was for Saudi firm ACWA Power to construct the world's largest wind farm. It would also create a 1.5 gigatons of power, enough to power 1.65 million houses in Karakapalkstan. ACWA Power is also developing two smaller wind farms in the Bukhara area. Saudi Arabia, known for its oil, has also built its first wind farm within its borders. It's the 400 megawatt Dumat Al Jindal wind farm built by EDF Renewables and Masdar with 99 turbines. Egypt is also going to solar energy following Saudi Arabia's lead. According to Reuters, Egypt is preparing to conclude deals for building two wind and solar projects. Also, the combined capacity of these projects will be 1 gigaton. According to industry experts, Egypt has great renewable energy potential due to high solar irradiation levels, strong winds, and vast desert expanses where these facilities can be developed. Egypt's government has set a target of producing 42% of its electricity from renewable sources by 2030. This is an increase from the primary objective of 2035, however, it falls short of this year's target of 20%. The International Financial Corporation, or IFC, approved both projects at the board level, costing more than $1 billion. According to the IFC website, two new energy projects are planned for Egypt. This first will be a 500-megawatt solar power plant, followed by a 500-megawatt wind power facility. This will be developed by a consortium led by Ameya Power and Sumitomo Corporation and located in Aswan and Ras Gareb. Saudi Arabia's effort toward clean energy is now projected to benefit the environment by lowering carbon emissions and lessening the country's dependency on fossil fuels. Moreover, Saudi Arabia's shift toward clean energy also impacts its neighbors in the region. So, how do you feel about the new initiative and how it will affect the oil industry? Please let us know in the comment section below. And that's it! Thank you for watching! If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be updated for more upcoming videos like this. Before you leave, did you know that SpaceX is expected to launch its Starship into orbit this month? Well, if you want to know more, make sure to click and watch this video right here. See you there!